When Google launched its Pixel and Pixel XL smartphones, one of their main talking points was the Google Assistant, the AI assistant you could have conversations with. As it turned out, the Google Assistant was way better than any other virtual assistant in the mobile phone market. And now that it is being made available to every Android device running Marshmallow or higher, I think it's time we talked about some cool Google Assistant tricks. Hey guys, I am Akshay from bbomb.com and today we'll be taking a look at 10 cool Google Assistant tricks. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right to it. Unlocking your phone can be a pain if you have a complicated password setup. Thankfully, you can use Google Assistant's hot word to unlock your phone. Just say OK Google to unlock your phone. Don't worry, your phone will only unlock if it recognizes the voice as being yours. OK Google. You can set this up in security, smart lock. If you're like me, you spend the last few minutes before rushing out of your house frantically searching for things. Thanks to Google Assistant, you can just ask Google to remember the places you kept those things for you. OK Google, remember that my passport is in the top drawer. OK, I'll remember that. OK Google, remember that the car keys are in my bag. OK, I'll remember that. Then you can ask Google to recall what you told it by saying something on the lines of OK Google, where is my passport? Here's what you've told me. March 15th, 2017, remember that my passport is in the top drawer. Or you can say something like OK Google, what did I tell you about my passport? Here's what you've told me. March 15th, 2017, remember that my passport is in the top drawer. If you want to see everything that you've asked Google to remember about you, just say OK Google, what did I ask you to remember? Here's what you asked me to remember recently. March 15th, 2017, remember that the car keys are in my bag. March 15th, 2017, remember that my passport is in the top drawer. You can now make Google forget about specific things by tapping on the forget one, forget two buttons that show up under the results. Or you can just make Google forget everything you told it by saying, OK Google, forget all of that. OK, I won't mention it again if you don't. Google Assistant can also show you unread text messages on your phone. You can reply to them as well, directly from within Google Assistant itself. OK Google, show me my messages. You've got several text messages. Here are the five most recent. The first is from, do you want to hear it or skip it? Read it. It says, don't shy away from colors. Take the holy cleanup at Brickowitz to get If you want to reply to the message, just say reply. Text HP Bergau, sure. What's the message? You can then narrate your message to Google Assistant and send it. This is a test message. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. The Assistant can even show you your emails from the Google account connected to it. Show me my email. Some results from your Gmail. Okay, Google. Show me my emails from 5th March. I found this in your Gmail. Tapping on an email opens the email in the Gmail app. How cool would it be if you could get Google Assistant to tell you about your day like a personal Jarvis? Wouldn't it be awesome? Google Assistant can give you a daily briefing as well. You can simply say something like, OK Google, what does my day look like? Good afternoon, Akshay. The time is 4.41 p.m. The weather in New Delhi currently is 23 degrees in haze with a high of 27 degrees. Your commute to home is currently 91 minutes with heavy traffic if you take out a ring road by car. Have a good one. Here's the latest news. You can customize the things you want Google to tell you about in your daily briefing. This can be done by going to the Google Assistant settings and then tapping on My Day. Here, you can configure the things that you want to know about in your daily briefing including things like the weather, the time it will take you to reach work, along with any events and reminders that you may have. This is followed by a short news brief as well. You can select the news sources you want to get news from by tapping on the settings cog in front of news. If smiling while reaching for the camera button is not your forte, Google Assistant can help you. 
you won't have to reach for the shutter button to click a selfie anymore. Ok Google, take a selfie. Google Assistant starts a 3 second countdown before clicking the picture. Don't forget to smile. People who are using Google Photos can use Google Assistant to check out their pics and even get results about specific events, dates and subjects. You can just say something like, OK Google, show me my photos. Google shows results from photos stored in Google Photos. You can even refine the results based on dates, places and image subjects. To see images you took last year, just say, OK Google, show my photos from last year. You can refine the search results by the subject in the images. So if you want to see pictures of dogs, just say, OK Google, show me my photos of dogs. This is much better than launching the Photos app and manually scrolling through all the pictures you ever took. If you like using Facebook a lot and use it to update your friends about everything you do, this one will probably save you a lot of time. You will have to use an IFTT recipe to get this working, but it's actually very easy. Just connect your Google Assistant and Facebook accounts to IFTT and enable the recipe. You can find a link to it in the description below. Once you've done that, you can post to Facebook by saying, OK Google, tell my friends I'm going on a trip. Posting to Facebook, I'm going on a trip. There are a lot of other cool things you can get Google Assistant to do with IFTT. Two of my favorites are adding items to Todoist and marking events on Google Calendar. This is a cool one, check it out. OK Google, it's my birthday. These pictures should match. Google shows birthday themed pictures like cakes and more, all customized with my name. That's really cool. Google Assistant can also help you translate speech to other languages. This can come in very handy when you're on a vacation to a foreign country or just as a way to learn basic phrases in different languages. OK Google, translate where is the bus stop to Spanish. ¿Dónde está la parada de autobús? OK Google, translate hello how are you to Hindi. Namaste, aap kaise hain? Google has been known to geek out about things and it loves to do so. Here's another example of Google being, well, Google. OK Google, do you speak in Morse code? Da, di, da, da, did, 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 did. That means yes. OK, that's definitely a great way to put it. Well, that sums it up for the 10 cool Google Assistant tricks. If you like these, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to our channel as we have some amazing videos lined up for you guys. That was all, except there are some other fun things you can say to the Google Assistant. So try these out on your phones. With that, I'll be signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.